So in this video, we are going to solve questions on equations involving complex numbers. Now let's take our first question. If 2 plus j divided by 1 minus j is equal to j times into bracket x plus jy, then we are going to find the value of x and y. So here we have a complex number divided by another complex number and we are told it's equal to the expression we have on the right hand side. Now to find the value of x and y, we need to resolve this fraction. That is, we have 2 plus j divided by 1 minus j. Now because we have a complex number divided by another complex number, we said that when you want to divide two complex numbers, then you want to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugates of the denominator. Now we have the denominator to be 1 minus j. So we are going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 1 plus j divided by 1 plus j. And this happens to be the complex conjugate of the denominator 1 minus j. Now let's multiply across. So we have 2 times 1 plus j plus j times 1 plus j all divided by 1 times 1 plus j minus j times 1 plus j. Now let's simplify. We have 2 times 1, that is 2. 2 times j, we have 2j j times 1 is j and then we have j times j which is j square and that is equal to negative 1 so minus 1 divided by 1 times 1 we have 1 1 times j is j negative j times 1 negative j and then negative j times j is negative j square so negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. So we have 2 minus 1, which is 1, 2j plus j, which is 3j, divided by plus j cancels out minus j. We are left with 1 plus 1, which is 2. Therefore, we have 2 plus j divided by 1 minus j to be equal to 1 plus 3j or divided by 2. Now let's resolve the expression we have on the right hand side. So on the right hand side we have we have j times x plus jy. So let's multiply j across. j times x we have jx plus j times jy becomes j square y so this becomes jx and then j square is negative 1 so minus 1 times y which is negative y therefore we have negative y plus jx now let's compare the two expressions that we have so we have this one which is 1 plus 3j or divided by 2 or better still we can write 1 over 2 plus 3j over 2 equals negative y plus jx now let's compare both the real and the imaginary parts so for the real parts which is negative y we have negative y equals 1 over 2 therefore we have y to be equal to negative 1 over 2 and then for the imaginary part we have 3 over 2 equals x so we have x equals 3 over 2 so therefore we have x to be 3 over 2 we have y to be negative 1 over 2 now let's take the second question now to question 2, find the value of x and y if 
x minus j2y in a bracket minus into bracket y minus jx is equal to 2 plus j. So we have x minus j2y minus in a bracket we have y minus jx equals 2 plus j. Now let's resolve the expression on the left hand side. So this becomes x minus j2y we have negative y and then plus jx equals 2 plus j. So at this point we can group like things. So we have x minus y plus jx minus j2y equals 2 plus j. We have x minus y that is the real part plus we factor out j inside of the bracket we have x minus 2y that is equal to 2 plus j so now we can generate two linear equations to find the value of x and y so for the real part we have x minus y equals 2 let's call this equation 1 and then for the imaginary part we have x minus 2y equals 1. Now the coefficient of j is 1. So we can use the method of elimination to find the value of y. x minus x is 0. Negative y minus negative 2y is the same as negative y plus 2y. So negative y plus 2y is equal to y so here we have y equals 2 minus 1 is 1 therefore we say that y is equal to 1 now we are going to put y equals 1 into equation 1 to find the value of x so from equation 1 we have x equals 2 we transpose negative y to the right hand side it becomes plus y so this is equal to 2 plus 1 and that is equal to 3 therefore we have x equals 3 and y equals 1